what's up guys Mr. Warfighter here bringing another video this is going to be on my Condor play carrier so before on my older videos on my airsoft loadout you guys saw the Condor play carrier with nothing on it I don't know why I did that honestly um, I didn't really like it because what's the point of a play carrier especially for airsoft you have nothing on it so I you know got pouches for it there's a lot of stuff that's that's not normal basically there's a lot of modifications I did to this play carrier so I'm just gonna go in depth this should be I don't know how long this video is because it's gonna be actually in depth of what I do and why I have it there so um start off with the play carrier where I have a condor central I don't need like a a per like a med pouch or like a radio pouch or like that that's for another time um, I am starting to get into Milsim not like I should be getting to the Milsim like later on in life basically um, not right now uh, my bro Kenny he we're gonna work together um, in like a year or two so I don't feel the need to have a system where it's cummerbund and the reason why I went over this this over the JPC uh, whether it be cry Lance tactical Emerson flyer TMC I I just don't like the JPC it I mean it looks cool but at the same time it's just I don't know I just I just don't like it <laughs> like it just doesn't it just doesn't work with me I've had a JPC before and um, I just wasn't wasn't me it's just uh, um, Condor is technically a real steel like gear even though they're cheap but people I know people that do run Condor on like real ranges with real guns so technically that's real steel because they're real steel um, <laughs> but um, yeah and in all honesty I could have gotten like LBT or like first fear or like whatever but didn't have time for it basically um, but whatever that's besides the point so I got in multicam because my kit is turning into cam loadout I'm running all multicam not the m 80 ones I was running before um, multicam pants multicam belt um, whenever whenever in the world I get an airframe <laughs> uh, I will be running that but um yeah so now on to the plate carrier this is a multicam and tan plate carrier you can see this tan pouch here 10 grimlocks and a thick like a a tax back there i'll show you later so very front you guys see here it's a condor triple mag triple mag shingle and um no point in running bungees because these are a pain to get out especially when you're like under stress it's a pain to get out and it does kind of interfere, just just a tad bit. Doesn't it just kind of interferes with uh, pulling the mags out? Kind of interferes with, or wait, no, excuse me. The admin pouch kind of interferes with the mag pulls, but or like pulling out the mag, but it's whatever. So uh, again, KWA K120s with mag pull ranger plates. Um, I have my karambit. I'm not using, excuse me, I'm not using the karambit for aerosol. This is just for. Um, I'm going to my aunt's ranch uh, this weekend. I'm gonna shoot some airsoft. I'm not like going out to the field. I'm just gonna shoot some airsoft. So you know, in case I ever need this or whatever. Um, on top, this is a Voodoo Tactical Admin Pouch. Uh, didn't really need like a Max Edition or like just uh, or just like a big admin pouch. I just need stuff to hold my tools. And right here is the uh, full color American flag. And then a Get Some Patch. Okay, for real, this Get Some Patch has been like everywhere. <laughs> So in here, I'll see if I can get a picture of it. In here, I have a um, Phillips Allen wrench for my KJW uh, 1911. Uh, two AAA batteries. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, two AAA batteries, and then one CR123 battery. And then in this here, it's kind of my. This is like my emergency thing. So like, if something goes down like fast, I can just grab it and get it inside whatever. Um, this is just my tool, smaller toolkit. Um, this is uh, a flathead, uh, a couple different Allen wrenches, a bunch of Allen wrenches, and uh, a couple Jolly wrenches in case I get hungry. And uh, I think that's it. Probably something else. But it's whatever. So that goes there. Yes, this is being held by a pillow. Yes, I know. It's being held by a pillow. So right here is the Magpul MS232 sling um, I had I've had so many cheap um, 
so many cheap slings and um, I just got tired of it so we picked up a Magpul and funny thing was this is only like 20 bucks so I don't I don't even know why I didn't pick it um, funny thing is the description said it came in tan but it came green or OD green or Ranger green or whatever you guys want to call it so um no real modifications to this part the only modification I did um, is inside this admin pouch I put a Grimlock and the reason why I put a Grimlock is because I don't want this going everywhere while I'm running or while this is uh, while my KW8 is slung down and so I put a Grimlock here also actually which is kind of a modification that I did myself the Voodoo Tactical um, Molly Pouch it what it the, the Voodoo Tactical Molly Pouch it, it sits far it sits farther down and it sits like all the way to where my mid caps are or my mags so what I did was I rose it up just a little bit and what I did was I took um, hook or loop no ah, whatever I took the uh, male part so like basically the part you know what I took this part of velcro, velcro if you guys know what it is please tell me what it is this part of velcro and I stripped it on the just the bottom of where the clips are to clip it like to clip the molly in and I stuck it to the negative side of this velcro so now um, it's hard to explain you guys are probably confused by now but you guys get the gist it's it sits higher than it should and I like it like that so I don't know if you guys can see it I'll try my best so here um, shoulder straps uh, the, con the ones Condor came with they were comfortable they are actually really comfortable I felt like I knew I was going to be a heavier rig person. So, um, I pretty much stripped down my Lancer Tactical JPC. That's why I'm like every video of Airsoft. You guys see something that's doing my Lancer Tactical JPC. And, um, let's see if I can, yeah. And, uh, I took the uh, shoulder pads from the Lancer Tactical JPC. And the Lancer Tactical shoulder pads, I gotta admit, are pretty nice. Um, I like, I like more of the stiffness. It's still soft, but it's also stiff. And on top of that is the Condor shoulder pads. Because the Condor shoulder pads and my AC just turned on. And the Condor shoulder pads are actually um, soft, but they're integrated in. So you can't really just take out the Condor shoulder pads. So I have two shoulder pads in one. And uh, what I did was I took Velcro and I stripped down on the Lancet Tactical JPC so that the Velcro on here, on the Condor, would still go over and wouldn't flop around everywhere. So I have my MS2 sling uh, slung around inside the JPC shoulder straps, slung all the way around, and then um, right here is my Grimlock system. I love Grimlocks, guys. Get Grimlocks. Worth it. And they're not even that expensive. These aren't the ITW Grimlocks, but I'm not going to be holding like a freaking like, you know, 240 or something like that just holding the small miscellaneous stuff um also uh i want to i want to give like props to uh i think it's like fire team six uh he he gave me the idea that i shouldn't just run stuff that doesn't make sense to me run stuff that will go with your kit and that will be essential to you and like possibly any another person if they like need help which is on the back which i'll show you in a second um so yeah Instead of zip ties, which you said, I, I did Grimlocks. Um, I have four on this play carrier. Um, you guys will see that. You'll see the last two um, later. So I Grimlocked my uh, Condor uh, Hydro because uh, if this is a Grimlock, it just flops everywhere. Even though the shoulder straps are through all of it, it still just flops everywhere. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything that's on the front side of the plate carrier yes 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 oh also um, the, only, the reason why I run just triple instead of six or three instead of six mags in the front because that just it just doesn't feel right it just it feels bulky it just doesn't feel right and on my cry MRB I can run two more mags and one in the gun I have six mags and that's just fine to me because I don't sling BBs like that and um, this may get some of you guys, some of, some of your guys' nerves, but instead of sappy plates, I run cardboard because 
I am too cheap to get sappy plates. Okay guys, so this is the side of my plate carrier. Yes, again, I'm using a pillow. A pillow, yes, I do sleep on. Yes, I like blue. <laughs> but um, yeah, again, I like the straps. Um, I don't like cummerbund. I have no use for it. And uh, yeah, and got the last tactical JPC pads. Um, the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Condor Hydro and then my Magpul MS2 sling. Okay, so the last part of the plate carrier because on the right side of my plate carrier is the same thing as the left side so the back side um, there's not a lot of stuff on it but there's a lot of stuff on it so basically I don't know if you guys can see it but um this is a Condor hydro pack or Condor Oasis hydro pack um, I like this the only gripe I have with it is that it's it's it sits out because like the molly just doesn't want to retain to it but um it just it doesn't really matter to me i mean i don't know um let's see if I can do this just a little bit all right so um on the top right here uh it's just molly or not molly yes molly space but also velcro um I don't know if you guys have checked out my other videos. This is my helmet count counter rate pouch and uh, ATAX from Emerson. Um, I really had no use for it, so I just threw some medical stuff in here uh, gauze bandages, uh, bandana, ex uh, whatever, etc. etc. And um, just threw it in here um, because I don't, again, I don't need it for my helmet. and just kind of looks weird with a gadget or EMT pouch here and then like nothing here <laughs> and just the flag wouldn't do and uh yeah so I'll find some way to um uh, I'll find some way to retain this because you know if I hit something it just, just falls off you know oh there it goes so I have another American flag on my United States Navy League Cadet Corps uh what the military program I was in now I'm in the United States Sea Cadet Corps uh yeah so if you have questions about that, you know, go ahead and hit me up. So in this, oh, I, I'm not even going to worry about it. It's a hydro pack. You guys probably already know what it is, what's in here. It's a 1.5 liter hydro pack. And I, if I can find it, yes, I found it. Um, 1.5 liter um, came with this, but uh, wasn't really feeling it. So I got myself this multicam hydro uh, cover. Looks cool. Um, blends in with the plate carrier because it's multicam all over. So uh, yeah, and um, I like this hydro plate carrier. Um, just again, the Molly just like doesn't want to sit with it. <clears throat> the Molly doesn't want to sit with it, and uh, it actually hangs kind of low like a map pack on a like 1694 JPC. So it kind of hits you behind. But again, my Cry MRB, I don't really feel it. So, um, I think it's like two, three more things I have left on this plate carrier. So, uh, this is my Condor EMT pouch. And what I keep in there is all supply. Oh, never mind. But yeah, I keep just uh, all my supplies um, because uh, I. I mean, this is where the bandages and stuff are, so I'll just keep like extra BBs and stuff in here. So, um, I have a buddy mag, but actually, my mags. Um, it's a buddy mag, but I'm going to actually put a cheaper mag in here because if that fool wants to steal from me, he'll just steal, he'll just steal a cheap five dollar mag. So, yeah. And um, I have my speed I don't see. I don't know if this contour is going to see it, but like, I have my speed loader that's taped because I don't want this thing clipping out on me. So, and then, oh yeah. And then I think it's like a thousand BBs in this small Deer Park bottle. And then a KW a mid cap, which I'll trade for this. Okay, so I hate, I hate when my straps come out. Um, I I just I hate when my straps come out and it just flops everywhere. It just doesn't look good. So what I did was I took some Velcro. Actually, I took my Condor shock cord. Ooh, excuse me. 
from my um oh, all right so i took condor shock cord from my uh, open top mag pouches and i tied it down Let's see if i can get this and i tied it down inside my um uh straps tied in my straps but i didn't tie it, tie it into the molly because that was just it was just like wear out the molly and i put uh just I can't remember but multiple strips of velcro and I put velcro onto the straps and I put them together so that this just won't it won't ever fall out no matter what so and it's set to the position I want I'm a strong guy but I'm also a skinny guy not too skinny but like just I'm not a bigger guy basically see so yeah there's the front And there's the back. Er, no, wait. That's the back. No, wait. That was the back. No, wait, that was fine. <sighs> Alright, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, in, I just went into detail about my plate carrier setup. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or ideas or one way to this or one way to that, um, I guess just, you know, whatever. Like, comment, subscribe.